Welcome. My name is Frank Brunner and I'm pleased and privileged to be the MC here tonight for the first annual and kickoff event for the Dell Couch Music Education Foundation. We're here at the Renaissance on 9th in downtown Bradenton and we're really excited about what this has to offer for Manatee County, Manatee County students, young people, and people that are pursuing their dreams in music and the performing arts. We're really pleased this evening to have our special guest, Mr. Jeff Cook, one of the founding and original members of the super country band Alabama. Over 42 number one hits throughout their history. He's going to be here this evening showing and demonstrating his support for this foundation, as well as a myriad of other guests, local celebrities such as Billy Rice and other performers, as well as some of the new talent and the new young and upcoming rock stars, if you will, of tomorrow. Uh, some of our very own students here in Manatee County that are taking advantage of the services and the vision that the Music Education Foundation has for developing and honing their skills as well as showcasing them to a higher audience that will help them pursue their dreams and eventually become professional recording artists. Actually, I started uh, in music playing in a group when I was 13. Wasn't making a lot of money, but we were playing. And that was the important thing then. And I continued to play all through high school and uh, finally got uh, Randy and Teddy together with me and uh, we went and played a talent contest. We won out of 27 acts, did one Merle Haggard song. At that point in time, Teddy was the drummer. That was the only night he played drummer officially. Uh, we got a, another guy playing bass with us that night and we decided that uh, t if Teddy was going to stay in the band he had to play something besides drums and the bass player got drafted so he went to Germany and Teddy stepped up. You know my dad played and my grandmother played some piano and everything and, and I enjoyed music but I was from families that thought that uh, the music business was too fickle so with that in mind I intended to get into broadcast and electronics and everything and, and did go to electronic school and have owned radio and TV stations. It seems that every time the state or federal budgets are cut, it goes to the music, the band, the arts. And uh, this is an effort to try to uh, offer the, the, the art of music to a lot of kids that might not otherwise get to try it out. Well, you know, we were around and we did a couple of uh, independent uh, songs, records, and we just happened to be at the right place at the right time. We were on the tails of the uh, urban cowboy era and the type of stuff we were doing and crossing the line between country and uh, southern rock was, was a good thing for us. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, being able to have a good time, of course, but in the same effort to make people aware of Dale's school and what he's trying to do and uh, maybe get some support for things that are coming up concerning the school. Uh, Alabama, uh, Randy, Teddy, and myself, we've... Uh, decided that we're going to try to maybe do 20 shows, a 20 show tour next year, and possibly if that goes well, maybe do uh, 20 in Europe. We've never been to Europe, so that's a new market for us. Well, we won't do any of the 20 until uh, next year. I don't know exactly. I mean, it's still in the very early stages and still in the planning stages for that matter. JeffCook-AGB.com, and uh, that will probably have links on it to whatever we know about the, the Alabama tour as well. Well, a lot of people enjoy music just for their own entertainment, but if you plan to get into music business, 
do it right. Uh, check out your associates. Make sure you have a good lawyer, music lawyer, very important word, music lawyer, and uh, a good accountant you can trust. And if, if you're getting into the, those kind of uh, uh, streams of music, then you need to do that. And we now have the privilege of being with one of the early on successes and one of the stars of tonight's show, Mr. Jacob Castro. Jacob, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. Great. Well, we're excited to have you here tonight. Um, we understand that you've been working with the Music Education Foundation for a little bit to uh, develop some of your skills and do some recording and playing. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got involved with the Education Foundation? Well, it was... It started when I was playing at the downtown get down a couple maybe a couple months ago and I was just playing by myself and Mr. Del Couch from the Music Foundation he gave my dad a card to give him a call and I went down to the music studio and he just put me in the foundation. That, that's awesome. Now, I, I know that since you've been doing this over the last couple of months, you've had an opportunity to do some recording. What's it like being in a real live recording studio? It's awesome. I, I just love the feeling when I'm playing my guitar and they're recording it and putting it on a CD. And you've also had an opportunity here recently to shoot a TV commercial. What did you think about that with Mr. Billy Rice? I was amazed. I just couldn't believe that at my age I'd be getting this opportunity. That's awesome. Now, here's a question. Be honest. How many takes did it take you when Mr. Rice said, hit it, Jacob, when you jammed out into that Johnny B. Good riff? Did you get it on the first try? Uh, well, we did a lot of rehearsals, so it, I, it, was, I, it was kind of like that. Rehearsing and practicing is important to be good, isn't it, even as a young person? Yes. Do you, um, did any of your classmates at school, you go to Anna Marie Elementary School, correct? Did any of your classmates get a chance to see your commercial or hear you play? Well, my dad gave the media teacher who does the morning show a copy of the commercial and they put it on the morning show. So everybody in the school got to see it. And, and what did some of your classmates and some of the kids say? Did they, did they give you a pat on the back or tell you you did good? Yes, they did. They're like, I can't believe you're in a commercial. And when they went home that day, they came back the next day, I saw you on TV. Now, has any, have any of the young uh, kids that have seen it told you that you've inspired them to get better on their musical instruments? Well, no one in my cl class really plays in an instrument. They stick to uh, playing sports. So. Well, I'm going to tell you something that you may not know. I have identical twin nine-year-old boys, and one of them's name is Joshua, and he's taking guitar lessons. And when he saw that commercial of you playing, my wife said to him, look what you could do, Joshua, if you practice and worked hard. And he was amazed at how you played. So I can tell you, you've inspired at least one other young person your age. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, Jacob, you're going to be playing for us tonight a little bit, aren't you? Yes. All right. Well, Jacob, we are excited about the work that you're doing with the foundation. We're excited that we have young, talented people like you here in our own community. And we're really excited about what the future holds for you as you continue to develop and grow in your musical talents. Good luck tonight and knock them dead. Thank you. Please now here to uh, have a little conversation with one of the, the big supporters of the Music Education Foundation, a local celebrity here in Manatee County, and my good friend Billy Rice. Billy, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your history with Dell and how you became involved? Well, I've actually uh, been around Dell my whole life. I mean, he's a little bit older than me, not a whole lot, but a little bit. So when he had this band when I was a teenager. That I used to go watch and they all played brass and everything and like so I was going like wow they're really it 
And so I'd seen him over the years and uh, playing and everything. And then something happened. I don't know what it was. We ended up, um, after you and I met, you know, I've been, uh, Frank and I have been friends for 25 years, I think. And um, uh, Frank sang with me many times and everything. So somehow, I don't know what it was. We did an event and everything, and Dell and I got talking. And so uh, uh, we just ended up starting to play music together. And I think we've been together for probably 15 years now, singing together and everything. So he's a great guy, and this is a great thing that he's trying to put together here. Absolutely. And, uh, of course, as you just mentioned, growing up here together in Manatee County, your passion for music, you're a product of our local uh, schools as well. So when, when Dell came to you and said, hey, Billy, I got, I got this idea for us to kind of pay it forward and want to want to do a little something for, for students that uh, may want to get into the biz, what, uh, what do you think about that? Well, I think that promoting kids into music is a great thing because you know, I can tell you that music saved my life. I mean, you know, when you, when you don't have anything else, you know, in my life, when I didn't have anything else, I always had music to go fall back on. And it's such an opening thing to get acceptance from friends and everything else. And so uh, I've been working with this little uh, nine-year-old, Jacob Castro, and, and uh, he, you know, to see a guy like that, a little uh, young man, uh, just really uh, develop and everything is a great thing. So if I can help a kid do that, that's great. You know, it's wonderful. Well, I, I know that just as you kind of talked a little bit about looking up a little bit to uh, Dell, I know you're a little bit, probably a little bit of a bigger age difference between you and Jacob than when you and Dell. But I, I know that he's got to be tickled having an opportunity to work with you. I know you guys shot the uh, the promotional commercial for this event, and uh, even my kids had a chance to see it on TV, and we're excited about seeing that. But uh, do you, uh, do you uh, get some enjoyment out of working with, with young people and hoping to be able to pass it on? Well. I do work with young people all the time. You know, I play a lot of benefits for kids and everything I always have and um, always will. I have a grandson, and my grandson the other day saw the commercial, you know, and so he was all enthralled that this nine-year-old boy was doing this. And so when he was uh, watching the commercial, uh, he didn't understand at the end when I said, hit it, Jacob, and then all of a sudden Jacob played. So that was really cool to explain all that to him and, and all that. And kids just they just suck it all in you know so it's such a great thing to watch them do that absolutely well we're excited because we know that you're going to be doing a little jamming for us here tonight uh, i'm sure you've got a few uh, of billy rice originals playing for us tonight and we know that we're really excited about having you here to help kick off this foundation and kick off this event to uh, raise funds to pay it forward and inspire young people well, thank you, Frank. That's very kind. But, you know, the star here tonight is Jeff Cook. I mean, from the music group Alabama. I mean, um, that was the biggest group in country music. I mean, it really was. They were just on the uh, CMA Awards the other day. And so we're very privileged to have Jeff help us here. I feel very privileged to play with him. And um, I love doing that because I love being with people that have had such history in music. And Dell pulled this off and has done a great job. And I give him all the credit in the world for, for trying to do such a great thing. Right now I'm here with the founder and uh, director, if you will, of the Dell Couch Music Education Foundation, Mr. Dell Couch. Dell, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, how this vision came about to create this foundation? Well, it uh, came about from, uh, I guess, started when I was a kid and uh, someone helped me get into music and uh, started my career. I kind of retired for about 20 years and then uh, uh, just felt the urge to uh, and the need to go back into it, so I went back to college, uh, got a master's degree from Berkeley at 54, and figured, what am I going to do with this degree? And uh, this vision came to me to help other children and kids, and specifically underprivileged, cuts everywhere in education, and try to find a niche for uh, not only children, but people from all ages to fulfill their dreams of being a musician. So. We know that you grew up here in Manatee County, and so in essence, this is all about you giving a little something back and trying to give, uh, paying it forward, if you will, to students that are interested in uh, in music. Tell us a little bit about some of your uh, your most recent or early on successes. I know you work with a number of students in schools here in Manatee County. 
Yeah, we have uh, internships, uh, do career shadows, and uh, participate in several capstone projects. But uh, early on, we had a young uh, Latino boy uh, who came to me who does uh, what's called Chicano rap. And um, we recorded his CD and uh, produced it and distributed it and, and gave him a plan on how to go out and, and capture the market that this might be after. That resulted in the CD being played uh, in Texas and Mexico on radio stations, which resulted in him getting a re record deal with a company in L.A. called Central Side Records, and he's now on iTunes with his own CD product. Uh, that's awesome. So, you know, obviously providing high-tech support, musical instruments, music education, and kind of helping people, young people, navigate through the biz, as they say, uh, requires resources and, and funds. So, in, in essence, that's kind of what we're here for tonight, right? Tell us a little bit about what we should expect about this event tonight. Yeah, that's what tonight is all about. It's a coming out party and hopefully raise a little bit of money to help some more kids participate. Uh, Jeff Cook is a is just an avid supporter of this as uh, is Rick Derringer who's a local resident. Jeff has made arrangements just this week with me to uh, with some vendors to provide uh, uh, several dozen guitars uh, and uh, tuning instruments and things like that to our foundation. Tonight you'll hear uh, four or five uh, uh, students from the foundation, uh, the youngest being nine years old and a young man uh, goes to Anna Maria Island Elementary and two uh, state college students, both 19. One of them uh, just an unbelievable singer, the other a fantastic composer of contemporary uh, pop music. Uh, and then our oldest student, uh, music never has any age, he's 52 years old, always had a dream to record his own songs and uh, he, you know, he works at Pizza Hut and uh, we've provided him with that opportunity. He has a CD, it's going to be done in a couple weeks. Uh, that's awesome. So, you know, again, we're here tonight as a coming out party. We're going to raise some funds to help supply the resources and materials. You've also been fortunate to bring on some sponsors for this, for this event this evening that have kind of got behind you early on. You maybe want to talk a little bit about some of your successes with some of your team. Sure. Um, Tim Revel from Tradition Air came out to sing a song for the DeSoto celebration. He's uh, my age, uh, was a musician in school, uh, high school, had a little band and kind of gave it up like most people. But when he came out and he saw what I was trying to do and, and felt the ambience of the studio, he immediately pulled his checkbook out and wrote a check to help this. And in addition to that, sang a song. And he got so excited about it that the next day he called me thinking I'm thinking oh he wants his money back you know but he called and he said you know something touched me that I went back to those days and I wrote a song last night and so he sent me the song and we're not currently trying to arrange it for him beyond that Billy Rice from commercial plastering has been very supportive uh, but uh, one of the biggest news uh, and uh, most exciting thing I think we've gotten so far is Best Buy coming on as a corporate sponsor uh, in addition to providing resources to us they are now the second largest musical instrument store in the country, which most people don't know. But uh, uh, in addition to that, they are going to provide me in a regional level, which is five or six stores, the ability to put our foundation CDs, our student CDs, in the Best Buy stores and do in-store promotions for these kids. And how exciting, you know, be nine years old and see your CD in Best Buy. I mean, the first thing Billy Rice asked me is, can we put ours in there too? <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him he's got to join the join the foundation as a student, right? Well, what I told him is, well, we can put it in there, but you got to record the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Dell, we're really, first and foremost, we want to congratulate you on your, your vision and your passion. I can tell you that uh, at Manatee High School, where we have a performing arts academy, we're extremely pleased with your can-do attitude and jumping in on board. And uh, for the folks that are watching, uh, Dell was recently elected as our advisory board chairman, as our business partner group. 
uh, for our performing arts group, and he's already made an impact on young people at Manatee High School, as he said, with the career shadows, internship opportunities, and, and other various projects. We know that there's going to be an exciting array of talent this evening. You've really uh, brought together a great uh, venue, along with some great entertainment and great people tonight. We're really excited about this kickoff and coming out party, and wish you all the success here in the future for many years. And we're back here at the Dell Couch Music Education Foundation kickoff event. We're pleased to have many local uh, celebrities and notables, if you will. And we're here with City Councilwoman Marianne Barnaby, who's coming out to support the event. Marianne, why don't you tell us a little bit about how music has impacted your life and your first experience with music? Well, my mother said that I sang before I talked, which I don't know because I don't remember that far back. That was a long time ago. But I think music is something that all of us can enjoy and that all of us have, should have the opportunity to get involved with. And that's what's so neat about this foundation that Dell Couch is setting up because it's going to give our young people the opportunity to experience every component of making music, not only the performing, but the editing and then all of the, the videos and the visualization stuff that now goes with music almost hand in hand. It's going to be a great opportunity for our local kids and, and that's why I'm here because I think it's important. Very good. Well, and we uh, spoke a little bit earlier with Dell about some of the real differences his foundation is already making in its early stages. And one of the things that I know that you and Dell are both involved with is the Music uh, Performing Arts Academy at Manatee High School, which uh, Dell was recently elected as the chair of the advisory board and you're the vice chair. Tell us a little bit about your experience of being able to work with Dell as well as some of uh, the students here in Manatee County that are pursuing their dreams of performing arts. Well, Dell is just an outstanding mentor for some of these kids to give them the the opportunity to experience, again, all facets of music making and music production. And it's going to be very exciting with what we're going to be putting together at Manatee High School because some of those students have not had this kind of, of opportunity before. We, we haven't been able to offer it. So just think you're going to have kids that may get turned on to music and, and middle school and come to Manatee High because it's the Performing Arts Academy for the entire county and we're going to be able to offer them professional level experiences of producing music, editing videos, just everything that you can think of and we haven't been able to do that before so I think it's pretty exciting for our kids. I, I think you're definitely, your, your excitement is infectious. Well, we, we certainly are excited about what's going to happen here tonight, and we're very thankful to you, Marianne, and your husband, Mark, for coming out and supporting on a Saturday night this wonderful foundation. We look forward to the what the future holds. Thank you. We look forward to what these kids can do, because it's really going to be something. <laughs> to uh, continue on with the program we have a couple of folks that we want to bring up that want to uh, share a little bit about the uh, their involvement in the foundation and what they believe the foundation has to offer here to Manatee County as well as other young people around our country the first person that we're gonna bring up this evening to share a few words is mr. Bill Galvano you know I've known Delver couch almost my entire life and when I thought back in preparation for tonight of, of the times that I have watched Delver play with Shaman and other groups, it occurred to me that every single time it was a charity event. It was Delver Couch and his friends and his band giving their time to make our community a better place. It is, Delver. And when he talked to me about this education foundation for music, I, I said, what better endeavor can you have? Especially in a time like we are living in, a time when budgets are tight and when uh, at state levels they are cutting education funding and what gets cut? Let's be honest. It's, right, it's, it's the music and the arts and it, and, and it goes down to the core when really that is so important in young people's lives because it touches every other academic area. 
It really, really does. And when you think about music, you know, people can achieve academically. People can achieve athletically. But when it comes to music, they create. When it comes to art, they create. And that is so very important. And I see that in my own family with my son, Michael, who is uh, a guitar player. Rick Fass is, is his instructor. And my, uh, William is beginning to play. And I see how it impacts their lives. And it is so, so very, very powerful. And so I, I'm all behind you 100% with this foundation. I'm going to do everything that I can. It's wonderful to see all of you here supporting it. And I'm going to leave you with a quote that uh, really uh, is a, the author is unknown, but it's one that I like very much. And it goes like this. It says, today we must study war so that tomorrow our children can study engineering and architecture so that tomorrow after that their children can study art and music. So thank you for having me here tonight at Delver. Congratulations. You know, for many of us that are here tonight supporting, this is personal, and Bill shared a little bit of the, the personal connection because of his son being involved in, in music and music education at Manti High School. Uh, certainly, Mr. Billy Rice is no stranger in our community, and he's had an opportunity to do many benefits to help support worthy causes and touch, touch lives. He's also been working with some of the, uh, the students and, and folks that are in the foundation, taking advantage of the services that Dell has. And uh, we want to bring up Billy Rice here for a moment to talk a little bit about his personal connection. And it's nice that he has an opportunity now to not only support another community event or organization, but one that's near and dear to his heart with, uh, with Dell and some of his bandmates. This is the way Dell does me. Uh, he said, hey, can you meet for breakfast? I said, yeah, I'll meet for breakfast. I show up for breakfast. He goes, we're going to do a TV commercial. Oh, yeah, what are we going to say? Well, I don't know. I thought you'd write it. So we sat there at breakfast and wrote this TV commercial and went. And he goes, man, that sounds good. I said, Dale, you don't understand. It's got to be 27 seconds. So then you've got to start cutting everything. So I don't know if anybody saw that commercial for, uh, for the event here tonight, but it was pretty good. And Jacob Castro, the star of the events right over here, he's going to be playing here in a little bit too. He's now my, I have a grandson and Jacob is, uh, my grandson worships Jacob now. How about that, Jacob? I got to get him a guitar and have you sign it. Jacob had me sign his guitar tonight. But my history with Dell Couch is this. I think I was about 12 years old and they used to have uh, bands at Bayshore Shopping Center. And Dell was in this band called Mantigo Brass, right? Had like 42 horns, not a single guitar in the whole thing, you know what I mean? How I ended up, but I used to go here, Dell, so that's how long ago we started working together. Uh, there's so much talent in this room, I, I, you know, I would love to introduce everybody, but I'll forget somebody, so I won't, and I don't want to slide anybody, but uh, it's so nice to see everybody come out and support such a great thing that Dell has put together, and I hope that this support continues as time goes on, and... Um, uh, it, it, it is a good thing for kids in music. You know, when I was in high school or elementary school, you, 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 it was a period. Music was a period, and, you know, I got to play this little flute thing or whatever it was. Of course, it was $1.99, and that's why that's what you got to play. But uh, they don't have a lot of that available like they do now, and so for Dell to have this foundation and such talent uh, here in these young people that have an opportunity now, Dell has a state-of-the-art studio that these kids are going to be coming to and hopefully we'll have more facilities for these kids as time goes by so uh, I hope you enjoy tonight we have a lot of things in store for you please support this through ever and push it and Dell thank you very much for letting me be a part of this thank you very much hope you enjoy yourself Dell you're over in the wings come on over I want to thank the committee we put this thing together kind of on an ad hoc committee none of us have uh, event raising experiences usually I'm hired and we just play you know, it's pretty simple, but uh, putting this together was very difficult. And uh, for us, uh, Marty and Betsy Rafferty, stand up and show up. Martha Rafferty over there. Helen Ledgerwood. Uh, Diane. Elizabeth Grimes. There's all added help in getting this thing. I mean, Elizabeth Wallace, I'm sorry. <laughs> and yeah. And I also want to thank Jeff Cook for coming down here and taking his time. For those of you who don't know, he's a founding member of Alabama. 
And I say, last night, 42 number one hits, and he corrected me. It's now 43 number one hits. They just went number one with Brad Paisley in old Alabama. And Jeff donates his time to everything. Next week, he's doing Alabama Rising, a concert for the relief of t tornado victims. Sold out, I think, in what, 14 minutes? <laughs> 15 minutes? Yeah, 26,000 people or something like that. So Jeff, also last night, I had a job. I forgot that I booked, and we played for Stewart Elementary, uh, a, uh, a yeah, uh, retirement party for 10 uh, teachers. And I had uh, dinner with Jeff when he got into town, and uh, I said, well, he said, where are you going? I said, well, I'm going out to play a party tonight. I'll be done about midnight. And told him what it was about. And so we all said, goodbye, we'll see you tomorrow. And then I got a call back. He says, what's that for again? I said, well, 10 elementary school teachers are retiring. He said, I think I better come out there. So he came all the way out there, and he autographed individual pictures to each person, got their picture taken, and it just meant the world to them because they're all not my age, but close, and they all know <laughs> Alabama. I mean, everybody. So thank you, Jeff, for that. That was, that was very, very kind. But um, since I started this thing, it's, uh, it's been kind of interesting. We just started, you know, working with a couple kids. One boy, young Latino boy, 18 years old, by the name of Mario Martinez, uh, a.k.a. Lazy Menace from 941. He did Chicano rap, which I know none of you have ever heard, because I never heard it before. Anyways, we produced a CD, helped him with his marketing, got him to say, go out into, you know, where your people are, the camp, the, and carry this. And it went into Texas and Mexico. It got airplay. And I'm happy to say that he signed a deal with Centro Side Records in L.A., and he's now on iTunes with his first CD. So it can happen. It can happen right here. It has. We the Kings are another example. We the Kings, right out of King High School. I mean, it can happen. There's a lot of talent in this market. There's a lot of people here that's willing to support it, you know. Uh, I mean, it, it's unbelievable how many people come in town. Last week, the Billy Rice Band got a call from our drummer, Kenny. I need help. I got three guys coming in town, and they need support. Well, the three guys turned out to be the lead singer for Santana for 16 years, the lead singer for Toto, and Randall Hall, who was original guitarist with uh, Leonard Skinner. So we all went down there, members of the Billy Rice Band and Shaman, Rick, all of us, and supported them in a cancer foundation last week. And Kenny put that whole thing together, and he's here tonight. He needs to be commended. So the good news is the Santana guy was so happy, his family, that he promised and committed to come back here for another fundraiser for us. So you'll get to be seeing him soon. 16 years with Santana something else but some of the kids you're going to hear tonight are just uh they're just unbelievably talented you've heard colton play the trumpet but wait to hear him sing i mean he is outstanding karina jones is writing a rock opera i mean it's she sits down and she records 15 16 tracks at a time sings five vocals all in her head nothing's written you'll get to hear her tonight jacob castro just a prodigy on that guitar and you'll hear him we'll play a little acoustic here first, and then he's going to get up and jam with Jeff Cook. So that's going to be good. And Mark Wright. Mark Wright is my oldest student. We take everybody in. Mark Wright, back here, yeah, he's coming up. He's going to sing an original song he wrote, and he's close to finishing his first CD, which had been a dream of his his whole life, to, to be able to record the songs and let people hear what's inside him. So those are the kind of opportunities we have. And, uh, and uh, I think that... Um, when you start on a journey, you get confirmation points, and um, call, some people call them spiritual moments. And uh, we've had a few of those along the way. Uh, Paul Scharf called me and said, I need an early learning coalition. I need a program for my uh, preschoolers in music, helping them learn about music. And I said, okay, send me the information. <clears throat> he emailed me the information on an email that he had. And uh, a couple weeks go by, and he said, called me. He said, hey, uh, you haven't sent me a proposal. I said, I never got your email. He said, well, I'll send it again. So he sent it again. Still didn't get it. So he calls me two, three days later, and he says, I figured out what happened. He got a call from Iowa from a fellow named Stephen Couch who got my email who does early childhood development music. Always already has a program designed, CDs, award-winning program. Gave me this number. I called Stephen. We laughed about it. 
Long and short, we're using Stephen's program to create a program for the early coalition, which Paul has issued us a grant to do. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't get any spookier than that, you know. It's, that's, that's confirmation. That's definitely confirmation. And uh, it's, it's confirmation that all of y'all are here tonight, too. And we hope to, to move along uh, and make the foundation and help a lot of kids. Uh, the other, other people I'd really like to thank are my family, uh, my daughters. Uh, Delaney, the youngest one, she's a singer. She wouldn't sing tonight, but she's up there. Shannon, she's back there. You saw her at the front desk. And my oldest daughter, I got to say it, Dr. Jessica Couch <laughs> from San Francisco. And Diane, who I could not live without. Um, we uh, started... I met Diane through music. I, uh, we, we went, she was working at a restaurant and bass player and I went there. We had just started the band after a 20 year layoff and we said, we saw Diane and we said, golly, if we could get somebody like her that looked like her that could sing, we could make some money. I'm telling you. And you know what? She sang. It took her two months to come out. When we heard her, we've been working together ever since and we became soulmates and we have Delaney, our daughter. So thank you, Diane. Thank you for supporting me. And I know I spent a lot of time in the studio. And it takes me away from my family life. And, and, and she, she's very uh, helpful. I mean, she, she understands. <clears throat> so, at any rate. Last, yeah. <laughs> and last, I want to I wanna thank the Grimes family. And I want to thank uh, especially Mrs. Grimes. And as all y'all know, or most of you know, Mr. Grimes was my mentor. He touched a lot of people in this room. He was a great man. And... Um, I've kind of created this foundation, if you see on the brochure, kind of in remembrance of him. So, and if he were here now, he'd be up here. <laughs> so, but thank you. Let's get to the music, all right? We're going to start off with Jacob. Come up here and do a little acoustic number.
Jacob Castro. All right. Brain, why do people do bad things? We're all just people trying to live. Sometimes we've got nothing. Sometimes we can't give. So find yourself 
somebody to love. I said the world, it still is the same. You'll never change. It's just as sure as the star. Shine above Good God, baby You ain't nobody Until somebody loves you So find yourself somebody I have got above and find yourself somebody to love. Don't it, Casey. All right. He's going to stay right here for a minute because we're going to have him and Karina do a duet.
Marina and Colton.